welcome back to our last game of the day between what does that plane have on it oh, oh. i can't really tell it's pretty cool though it's vote vote Efeso collins for mayor and if you haven't voted yet vote Efeso collins that's a <laughs> shout good way out to advertise that's that. <laughs> that's 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 a paid advertisement by the way mate we are we are gonna take a percentage of that Yes, I think they'll need to give us our cut as we have our last game of the day. It's between the 15 South and the Bay of Plenty team. And this one shall be a good one. This 15 South side, they, they've they got one and they've gone one and one between the North team and the previous two weekends. And we'll see how they fare this weekend against this Bay of Plenty side. Yeah, it, it'll be very interesting. They've got a very talented team to the Auckland South 15s. And there's not a lot of knowledge around the Bay of Plenty under 15s. No, we did see them play against the north side, and they did get a little bit. It was a little bit of a blowout scoreline. I think it was 60 points to 12. As Charlie Webb's older brother Ruben ran right in that game, he just showed up. As we see our south lineup here is Tuta at the back with Murray, Fruin, Otineru, Gatsapu, and California are the back five. Trayvon, Dave, and Deshaun Saint Tewau are the halves and Grant Fiver in the front row with Tsipine Kule and Ambrose Puluno at the other front row. Levi Mohi, Faega and Misiepo are the back row with Tuli Hatiros, Kite, Lavakiaho and Falaniko Logaya are the bench players today. Not running a hefty bench like everyone else was as we see the creator of region of origin Sir TJ Ashford and he's doing the pack up job already. Good on you, TJ. He's doing the job for us. Thank you, mate. Doing the Marshall and Lynch on the field, swerving in the buggy. We love to see. As um, the crowd's sort of dispersed now, as we see the uh, Bay of Plenty lineup, we got and in the backs we've got Williams, Jackson, Tuaka, Paul, Pomale, Uria, and uh, Richards Te Tawau. We've got Patai Sayers, Te Waho Rangaia. Uh, Mahakia Kiel, we got Rakarao White, Brown, uh, Tiwarao Ayo Tumai, uh, Chang Huya, uh, Tumai Tapai, uh, Corbett Walker, Dudley, and Hansen. Got a very good game as we see some, see some uh, corn dogs and some, uh, some chippies being delivered. They were delicious. If you haven't gone over there to the, the, the food stand while you still can, go on over and uh, get, a, get a cheeky bite to eat. Yes, uh, and our munch earlier was pretty good as we see the crowd is quite dispersed out now. A lot of cars are leaving. I think they were all here to see the Waikato side play earlier against the South Boys who uh, were just celebrating before we got on air. They're celebrating their win of the Region of Origin this year. So the previous two years and... 18 and 19 it was the north side that won and 2020 was COVID struck and along with 2021 and this year we've been able to get it back underway and the south side take the win this year yeah it's about time and uh, well deserved from the south side uh, they are the 2022 champions uh, for the region of origin and uh, it just makes that a little bit more interesting next year for when we host it and uh with a 2-1 scoreline, could South bring it back to 2-2 next year? Yes, that'll be the question now as we see... We see it. We see a, a potential streaker. I think one who's left a jersey in, I think he's grabbing something. I think he left his kit in the car and he needs to get changed and take his gear off. Oh, no, it's a bit of a stitch-up as we see the Bay of Plenty side line up against the South under-15s. Predictions early, I think. Um, oh, I think this uh, Auckland South team are yet to prove how good they are, and uh, I feel like they're going to have a perfect performance today. But then again, in saying that, haven't had, I personally haven't had a good look at the Bay of Plenty side, so it'll be very interesting to see uh, those first few sets. Yes, it will be interesting to see what they can conjure up on the first couple of sets here. As referee Maxine Godine lays down the law with the boys, and we don't want to see any sin bins like we did in the last game. Yeah, definitely not. Why? Well, um, they were they were very fair sin bins, so um, it'll be very interesting to see how this game goes. Will there be a lot of fire? Will this be a skillful game? The field is um, is, is sort of worn out, but it's not 
overly muddy like the uh, the second field over the back there, as we can see. Or it's, in the middle patch a, between the two fields yeah. either. It's a lot of foot traffic in there, and it's looking quite muddy it at is, the moment. It is. I think uh, Cornwall's going to get a well-deserved rest after this, hopefully. Oh, yes, it will. As we... Um, start to conclude the rugby league season yep and coming up after the rugby league season finishes end of october after that labor weekend we do have kiwi tag flying into things and if you're not busy during the summer and you want to play for your play register a team for your local club and play down there be my guest i will be alongside the kiwi tag stuff with tj and we're ready to get it rock and rolling later in that november calendar year we have the national club challenge for kiwi tag so if you can get your teams in nice and early registrations will be opening up sometime soon this week or possibly beginning of next week so keep an eye out we'll keep you posted on what to do and i've heard news that our auckland vulcans women's side have beaten wellington in the final they are the champions of the women's grade and it's awesome to see auckland getting another dub to the calendar yeah as we see it's really awesome to see as oh, the is buggy driving itself that is the question yeah, is now that a, is that another man buggy oh, oh no, it's ellie ellie and the buggies pulled a sneaky there mate where's your seatbelt? oh naughty man naughty man as we see the auckland uh, south under 15 start us off here oh i feel like i feel like this game is going to be quite intense quite a Quite a hard, fast game. Yes, it will, as we see Bayer Plenty, second run of the day, and it's a good legs tackle there. It'll be interesting to see where Sue Gatape plays. I know they have him at, um, or Gatape plays, they have him at number four, but you could see him transition to fullback possibly later in the game as there's a penalty given to the Bayer Plenty. Good run by Carlos Herrera. He beat one, two, and he just wears one. A a little bit high maybe this yeah just one. just yeah. around there falling into it it's it's yeah. not much the defender could do about that but not much malice in it at all it's just uh it's just a penalty no warning no nothing no nope. waiting for a footy balls up on the hill just past us and surely they can get it down sooner or later that'd be it'd be nice there we go perfect and a hard carry from number eight cj putai we see the fullback chiming in. It's a quick run there. That's Williams Jackson taking that run. It was a good run, and he's one aside. Another penalty again. Yeah, as Williams Jackson. That's two penalties for the to open up the account for the Bay of Plenty in their right and good ball attack. And they'll look at the number nine Trey Sayers. We'll just uh, survey the scene and lay it off to as as uh, number eleven Mahaki Kill. Mahaki Keel gets a pretty quick play of the ball there. Sayer spins it wide and they're looking to go to this right hand side here. Bayer Plenty spinning off a couple of tackles and still going. Oh, he's broke through two. Inches short was the number 21 there. Again, find it into the Sixers' hands and he's bounced off one, two, it's still going. Is there, oh, and a nice offload there and another good offload and he's just got to pass the big front row, but he's got the white line fever. Oh, he really wanted that try. And they switch it, and it's back to the big number 11, Mahaki Kiel. And they're scheming here, but they haven't quite done anything. Oh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a dead pass to the number 13, but he makes something it's out of nothing. still going. Was that Brown? It was. A Takeo Brown. picks it up, and it's gone wide, and still going as... That number oh, 21, no. we don't have 21 on our list, but work out who that is. What a try that was there. Yeah, that was a, it was a very good try. No chase on the inside, a bit of a soft tackle, and the Bay of Plenty have uh, opened the scoring here. And to make it 4-0, wow, great start for Bay of Plenty. Yes, it was a good start for Bay of Plenty, and that try scorer there was... Matthew Phillips Taura. Is he on our team sheet? If he's not, he will be now, and I will be putting his name down for him. And that was a good try. Stepping off one, two, and let's see if the number six for the side, Carlos Iraya, can make this kick here. 
Yeah, it's a, it was it was not much going on in that set for the Bay of Plenty, but they 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 don't they're not afraid to move the ball around, which is good to see. But it's going to be a big set for them next set. Uh, next set they must complete after scoring points. Did you see the number six? Lines in to take the conversion, and he's nailed it. Six 0 Bay of Plenty in the opening four minutes. We'll see that try again from Phillips Tolder. Drops one under, breaks through one, and still going, breaks to another. Again, it's more missed tackles from South to start. It's not looking good so far. No, nah, it's not looking good early, uh, early in the piece. There's still a lot of time, but there's a bit of, bit of a lackluster. Uh, it looked lackluster at the moment. No one's really too interested in playing, really. No, they're struggling to get the ball back here. And Gatsapu really wants it back on their halfway line, and then again, they just, yeah, it's not the best start there for the South team. I think they've um, come into this game a little bit of sleep. They need to, they need to wake up, or they're, they're about to wake up very soon. There's a deep kick there from Sui Gatapu. Well, it's a good carry by the Bay of Plenty. That was... Number, two. we couldn't couldn't quite see the number there. Just the um, I think that might have been number twenty, Logan Dudley. Logan Dudley with a solid carry there, and uh, oh, moves back. Oh, Ooh, it's on the ground. One oh. and it's found hands, but it's gone backwards according to the referee. And another oh, offload. Oh, he's got the to burn here. But Gatapu closing down the fullback. Oh, and he wears one around that chops there. Williams Jackson. Fire Laga, I believe, with the or oh, and a penalty, another penalty to the Bay of Plenty. It's really killing them. This Auckland South side is he breaks away in the number twelve. Fire Laga with a bit of a high tackle. It's a big number ten to Wahoo Rangiuya with the carry and. This Bay of Plenty side are up here, and they've got numbers if they use it. Show and go Ooh. there from the number 12. There was Raku Raku White. And again, here's the number 20, and Logan Dudley's taking another good run there. And they drop it to the big man, and oh, he's met with four, five, six of them. But he's spun just short of the line. And there's a lot of numbers there, so there'll be numbers out wide if they can find it. Oh, he's just run a bit of a decoy there, and he doesn't really need to run that decoy. But the number four scoops out a dummy half, and has just hold up there is Tavita Pomali. Very close. Shows. Oh, it's a lovely it. little oh, kick, oh, but a good hand to so he gets up. And he's still going as gets up. Ooh, lifting of the legs, that could be a penalty. South have been under the pump, and they look like they're blowing a little bit. Their backs need to get them out of trouble here. Oh, tough contact that oh, was, and that's a little bit of a piggyback there for South. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna look to kick this one long and get themselves out of trouble. On the south side, that was a great pick pick up from Sue Gatapu back there. It was a nice kick from the number six, Carlos Aria. Uh, oh, oh, and it's not gone out. out. That is not a kick at all, and it's it's gone backwards and it's picked up. Oh, and he wraps around. There's Carlos Herrera. What a try. He got, he got away without having to bounce off him and go backwards. What a try. That was that was very poor from the um, from the South team there. Who was the who was the kicker? Oh, I can't get a number on that. I don't think I think that could be uh to Wall. We'll have some confirmation in a second. Or it could be the fullback Tomoko. Tuta, it I is think it the is fullback. Tuta. Tuta, that's um, yeah, it's it's not what you want. You just got to make sure you you kick the ball out because that's very costly and it's put your side down. Uh, ten points to nil with the kick to come and um, Carlos Araya looks very good early on. In yes, the he does. He's really wanted to get his hands on the ball and show what he's all about. Really impressed by him so far. He's looking to take the line on and yes, he was fortunate with that bounce there, but otherwise. And as we see here, Sue Gatapu 
has a bit of a limp as he's just limping across the face. He might be going off, and that could be a big blow for the south side. It could be. He was electric last week. He didn't play that first week, though, so interesting to see what the ploy is there, keeping him out of that first week when they, they really could have used this energetic spark on offense. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it could have been due to an injury or something. Maybe they've just brought him in late, but it would have really helped them in game one if they had him in the team. But um, it is 12 points to nil. The Bay of uh, Bay of Plenty up against the Auckland South side. Is the crowd starting to starting to disappear now? As um, as the day starts to fade. It's been a fantastic day here at Cornwall Park. Very action packed. Um, I've certainly enjoyed myself. Have you enjoyed yourself? Too? Yes, it's been a good day. It's been some lopsided scores, but our last game was a close one, and I'm expecting this one to be a close one too. Yeah, this one, this one could be very interesting. Bay of Plenty with a hot start. On the, off the back of their number six, Carlos Oraya. His, um, his sleek skills have really kept them in it. And, and a great ball there from the number seven uh, to Wahoo. Richards to Wahoo. We have an error, though. Ooh, that's a costly error. And that brings South right back into the game. Only 10 minutes in, but it feels like there's been a lot of action so far. Yes, there has. A couple tries scored and a few drop balls and a couple of penalties. Yeah, you really, you really love to see it, but South finally get the opportunity after being pinned down for so long. They're going to they're gonna give it a crack here to try to um, put some points on the board. That's Trayvon Dave, influential number six to the South under-15s. Oh, it's a good, strong carry there. From Tomoko Tuta. It's Levi Mohi taking that run there, and he's dropped under the way as half. Deshante Tewau. As we see, the number 13. Oh, he met with so a strong Conte. That's so Mosiepo. Mosiepo. He's been fantastic this um, this series, hasn't he? He's been so busy. And Trayvon Dave. As you like to see, he loves taking on the line, and he's uh, he's got his boiler suit on early in the game. It's, Nasepo again with another strong carry. They spin it wide, and that's good hands by Mohi back at the angle. He's stepping past one, two, and he reaches out and tries to, oh, but the referee's deemed it a strip there. That's a big call from the referee. I think that one could have gone either way. Oh, apologies. That is an offside call by Maxine Godine. Oh, good. No, oh, good, good call. Good call. We didn't think it was a strip, Maxine, so... You did right there, offside. Yeah, don't listen to us in yeah, the, the com box. We don't, know, we don't know anything. We're not the, the one with the whistle in our mouths. No, not at all. Um, oh, that's a big carry there. From George Kite, our man who's been impressive in the last two weeks. He's still going, Kite. He's fighting. Gets it to Trayvon Dave. Oh, and they've got numbers and they've, here, and that's... And they've made it look easy. That's Kaden through and Oteneru crossing there. Fluon Otenuru with a great little try there. Early ball from Trayvon Dave. Nice and simple from the Auckland South team. Trayvon didn't need to overplay his hand, and that's exactly what he uh, what he did. Kept it nice and simple, and a nice, simple try resulted from that. And uh, as we see, 12 points of four for the, um, for the Auckland South side. They're back in the game. Just approaching the the halfway mark of the first half, I think that um, it's really anyone's game, but you've got to be very careful if you're Auckland South because this Bay of Plenty side are not here to mess mess about. As we see, uh, as we see, the conversion has been put up and it is wayward, and it would uh, leave the score 12 points to four to the uh, Auckland South side. I mean, sorry, to the to the Bay of Plenty side. I think um, if I was the uh, coach for the Auckland South team, I'd be telling my boys to get back into the grind, just uh, complete some sets, um, kick long, and really uh, turn this game into an arm wrestle. And if I was if I was the Bay of Plenty coach, I'd be saying, "Look, boys, we've got them right, right where we want them. We just gotta." We just got to show that we're up to it, and we're going to make this an absolute dogfight and compete no matter what. 
but this this set's going to be a big decider. There's a big carry up the middle there from the Auckland South team. George Kete, and he's won his side a penalty. This could be the momentum shift that the Auckland South team desperately desired. And they, are, they have no trouble with this touch finder. That's coming close to us. Oh, that was very close. Um, as we as we see just on just before the halfway line, pretty slow to get to it. And there, the number twelve with a big carry, Peter Feilega, with a nice carry to get us started for the south set. Oh, and they've moved it on to big George Kete, but he's coughed the ball up. What a great shot there. Logan Dudley involved. He's been very good early on as, as young Dudley. As the Bay of Plenty side looked across the halfway line. Ooh, but a good late footwork there from the number 12. Raku Raku White. Oh, as the halves look to run. The Bay of Plenty side are really up for this. They're not backing down to Auckland. They're not scared. Oh, and a quick ball out wide. Ooh, the number four, Tavita Pomali, looked dangerous with the ball. And number 17, Sam Tumai to Paul. Gets the penalty. As that brings the penalty counter to 4-3. And it puts Bay of Plenty in prime position to extend this lead. Oh, and I think that big number 10 is on. Te Wao Rangi Oyaya. Oh, and it's a big carry. Try and somebody try and stop him. And oh, they've wrapped him up well. And number 15 at Dummy Half, Brody Chung, looks out the back. Feeds it to his number six, Carlos Araya, who's been fantastic early in this game. Warner show and go from the 13, a step of jink. Brown just gets pulled up short. Ooh, that could be a penalty. It hasn't been deemed a penalty. It's uh, It's an error there. bit unfortunate there for Bay of Plenty but they've uh, dropped the ball at the right end of the field as we have a bit of a change in the wind the wind's blowing right into the com box so, um, sorry if you can hear a bit of a bit of a breeze into the mic there it's just a just a light one is um, I think that's George Kete oh is that another drop ball oh no he's managed to hold on to it as Kete and they'll move it out wide it's a solid contact on there Number 11, Levi Mohi. He's been absolutely belted. But his teammate, number 12, Peter Fialega, responds and protects his mate with another hard run of the south. Trayvon Dave looking to run and gets the tip to the outside. And pick number three, Caden Fruin Otterul. The try score earlier in the game. Oh, it's that's very tough defense here. Hati Ross, the captain, gets drilled, and as Trayvon Dave nails one to the sky, but it was an excellent take there by Williams Jackson, and he looks to keep going, but he's pulled up just short there by the number nine, Tiffany Cooley. As we see the Bay of Plenty side in there. Oh, that could be a drop ball. No, it's play on. As um, the Bay of Plenty side are really in the grind of this game. And they've received a penalty. That is another penalty to the Bay of Plenty side. That brings them up to five in total for the game. As uh, Carlos Araya looks for touches. Um, as I'm joined by... Uh, Dan McKenzie once again, how are you Dan? Yeah, all good mate. 
Feeling better? Feeling relieved? Definitely relieved after that one. Yeah, fantastic. It's been uh, since you've gone. It's uh, it's been very um, even, Stevens. It's it's started to get into the grind of the game, but I think they've had plenty of side of just winning this one. In my eyes, so it looks like it's still been a bit of a grind with a scoreline at 12 points to four, and see what they can conjure up from this set. You know they're in prime prime position here to put an attacking kick or even a shift like that. But that's a good read there, and a little bit of a bobble. It looked like it was good read from Deshaun Saint Terwal. Uh, Tavita Pomali with a, with a near bobble there, but he's look, he looked very dangerous earlier. They just need to get them the ball earlier, like that. Oh, there that's a go. beautiful oh. ball, but it's coughed up there. That was a try gone begging. That could have been uh, 16, possibly 18-4. And uh, if you're a, a team outside of Auckland playing Auckland, when you get opportunities to score points, you must convert because normally Auckland teams will make you pay. Yes, they will, and we'll see what South can provide from this here. That's a strong run, beating 1, 2, 3, and 4. And still going. What a run that was. And a boot in the process too. That's a big run there from Lava, Lava Keaho. Another Combox favourite of ours. We love Lava Keaho. Yeah, he's, he's been brilliant in the fir in these previous three weeks. As a Trayvon Dave likes, moves the ball on. And they move it out to the winger. Number five there. Cole, Cole Funoga. Who has been taken over the sideline? Oh, but we have a a penalty. Yeah, I think he was deemed to have been called tackled. Yep, and just dragged over the sideline there. Silly error that from the Bay of Plenty team. That is a silly error, and as we said it just before, you got to convert your points, otherwise Auckland will burn you. And it looks like they're getting on a roll now. It's number 16, Ambrose Poluno. And they've won another penalty of Auckland. Five apiece in the penalty count. There's a, been a lot of penalties early in the game. Yeah, there have. But we saw a lot of penalties in the last game too. And the Bay of Plenty, yes, they won the penalty count. And they unfortunately didn't win the game. As Puluno taking that run there. And he's been one to watch as the number 17 Lava clash is over. The Combox favourite. Racks up a try there. Oh, and missing that, missing that opportunity for points in the corner has really burnt Bay of Plenty. And Lava Keaho says, get out of my way. I want a four-pointer and bang. Lovely try there. And didn't the ladies in the background love that one? They were celebrating that try all the way in. As, yeah, Philip Lava Keaho, Combox favorite. He's been brutal defense and offense. Oh, he's, he's just been outstanding the the past few weeks. He's um he's been ve he's very noticeable. He he works really hard on offense and defense, and you really love to see it as it brings the score to twelve points to ten in a thrilling game here in the under fifteens. Uh, Bay of Plenty versus Auckland South game, the final game of uh, the day. By the way, this will this will be it. Yeah, but don't worry. If you want some more live stream act, live stream action, we will. I think we will be streaming down with the National Club Challenge down at Cornwall Park for Kiwi Tag. So make sure you tune along there. Unfortunately, I won't be in the com box. I'll be downstairs running the tournament. So I think you can catch Regan and possibly Vigo might be in there if he's yeah. not reffing on the field. Yeah, it, it, it might even uh, be just me. Possibly. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll um, maybe. Uh, Maybe try and get a, a guest commentator in the box, or we'll see. We'll see yeah. how we'll see how we go. We could even get our, our CEO Rebecca Russell in the box with you. That'd be a that'd be a good one. Wouldn't yeah, it? yeah that, would, that would be very good. Bumping off one there. It was a strong run from our try scorer Lavakiaho, backing up his good efforts at breaking two, three tackles there, and almost an offload away. Oh, he's got that a lot of strength. This is just Paluno. Paluno, he's got. A, and Trayvon Dave looking to simplify things now for the, the Auckland South team. As they do. The captain, Carlos Hatidos, taking that run. He's been instrumental in these last two weeks. Really, really done well on a losing side and a winning side. And Saul Masipal, the vice captain, with another tough carry as Trayvon Dave just looks to play out the back. Tatuta, very simple. 
Ooh, got to be careful. It's deemed to not be a penalty, but it's... It He's landed hidden. awkwardly on Ooh. his shoulder then. It stung him a little bit as Dave just chips one up, and it's a good safe take again from Williams Jackson. It's not the, not the best kick, but it was a pretty good chase, and the, they met him head on as... Oh, I believe that that's is... That's uh, Joe Jr. Paul taking that run there. Oh, no, I think that's... Oh, Paul Mali, oh, sorry. Paul Mali, that's a... That's Paul Mali. The, the back five from the Bay of Plenty have been... Oh. Oh, I've, I've cursed it before I've, I was mid-sentence. Commentator's curse. I was about to say the back five look very explosive, which they do. But uh, a bit of an error there from Williams Jackson from Bay of Plenty, and uh, that could cost them. As we see in the background there, Silwe Gatapu looks like he has a bit of a foot or ankle injury. I don't think he will be returning to this game. That is, uh, that is quite unfortunate for the young man. He's, he was electric last week, and uh, he, he was off early in the game for viewers who have just joined us late. So um, the South are down to 16, or they're, they're short, short on numbers as, as Tuta. Starts things off for South Set. We've got two at 18 for South, so it'll be interesting to see who's who for the minute. I think one of them is Philip Logaya, so we'll be we'll be on the case earlier to see who's who. Yeah, it's it's a guessing game. I think Logaya's the maybe as we see a knock on there. But he's been paying for a penalty. For a shoulder charge, it looks like the referee got in there, signaled. Well, four minutes to go in this uh, first half. Oh, that's a knock on, though. They are plenty of really into them here. They're not scared. They, they want this. They want this win. They want to go home tonight feeling very proud of themselves that so they put in the best effort possible. Yes, they do, and they're playing very well so far, leading 12 points to 10 with just over four minutes left in this first half. As it's they go down the right-hand side again. The 13, Brown with a... Oh, he's been called out. There's still one marker there. There's still... Love a cow who's that marker. He does well. He just backs off as um, <coughs> Logan Dudley. Been very solid today as Logan Dudley's had a lot of good carries and had a lot of good defensive work as well. On oh, the 13, that's got to be played at. Back to one. <laughs> trying to work is out what the trying to, trying to, is trying to, Yeah, I think he might have been even trying to get a penalty. Get out of the way, son. No, nah, it's fine. No, no, no. That's not a penalty. I'm sorry. That is not a penalty. You play to the whistle. You don't complain at the referee. Yeah, but you don't get those uh, superstar calls, as I'd like to say. Back at home, Kalen Ponga, he gets a few of them. Just going to name names. Jared Hayne, when he was on both the Titans and the Eels, would get them, but that's play on. No one's engaging no from the one's line. Engaging. They're no. all standing there. Just Nah, that's play on. That's a, it's a not soft the best one call. There. It's a, that, that is a soft one. And it's, it's poured... Um, this Auckland south side right back into the game and Trayvon Dave just hunting all oh, and he's caught and he's the ball up. from the inside and there goes number three Joe Jr. Paul with a solid carry to get the the Bay of Plenty side just over the 40 meter line in there uh, in the opposing half this could be a very big uh, big moment in the game here yeah this will the be Bay a Plenty. crucial set for this Bay of Plenty side see what they can do as the 15 scoots, and he's got an offload away to the fullback, Williams Jackson. And it's Brody Chung from dummy half there, and he goes again, Chung. And here's our try scorer, Matthew Phillips Torua. Oh, and he's popped and intercepted up. Does he have the legs to go all the way? He's looking back. I don't think he does have the legs. The halfback, no, he will have the legs to go all the way. He evaded one, two, and he's going to evade one more, is he? And and it's been called The referee back. has called it back. We're just going to ignore that. 
Oh my goodness me, what is going on here? What is going on here? Let's have a look. Step and he's basically throwing it into the number sixes, the sevens hands there. I believe that's the Shantae and Tawal. I actually don't know what the call is. I'm not too sure. Obstruction? That's my only question. I don't know why he just wouldn't play on in that situation. It is an obstruction call. Yeah, he runs behind the 11, creates the space. Engage no one on the line, though. Again, it's just... Whoa. It's right. just, yeah. It's, it's a it's, silly one. Well, it's an intercept anyway, so it should just be play on, if that's the case. And you take away a four-pointer for the Auckland South team right on the stroke of halftime there. It's just, oh, it's a... It's an interesting one. It is an interesting call. Say the least. Yeah. Uh, as, uh, that should actually round out our first half here. Oh, it's a very close one, but I think Trayvon Day will be looking to, looking to get one playoff. Oh, big shot over the top there from CJ Patahi. And that is the half. Um, the Bay of Plenty side lead Auckland South 12 points to 10 as we round out the first half and we will be back for the second half in just a moment. Morning, morning, wake up in the 
the morning. Why they sore from last night's training? Do run harder, tackle with intention. Make one the gaps and watch for interceptions. Keep it fair, keep it cool every section. If you're all past the ball, put your best in. Enjoy your day's trip, you cover your selection. This the thing that you've been missing. Oh, Don't play rugby Kia ora and welcome back to our second half of the Region of Origin boys game between Auckland South and the Bay of Plenty side with the Bay of Plenty side leading 12 points to 10. Auckland South were very unlucky not to get a try on the stroke of half time there. They did end up running, oh, it was at least 60, 70 metres then to be pulled back for an obstruction call where they did get the ball back anyway. And it was an odd one but well we'll let it slide yeah. as Bay of Plenty will get us underway for the second half here. Yeah, very interesting call, but um, I tell you what, this is still anyone's game. I think um, the Bay of Plenty is certainly up for this. Oh, and a solid piece of contact there from CJ Puta uh, Putahi. I just need us to hang in the fight here to the Bay of Plenty because I know Auckland South will come out hard and fast in this first set and try to establish dominance early. Yes, they will, as we see Levi Mohi taking that run. It's a good legs tackle there by the number 17 that is two oh. points here Paul and it's an error that is an error in the first set and if uh, you're the coach of the um, the uh, Auckland South 15 you'll be ripping your hair out oh it's just a silly error there Dave pushing up too far was just forwards as we see them pack the scrum the Bay of Plenty there about 45 out from the south try line. Let's see what they can produce here from this set. They're in good attacking position to start They're the second quite, half. Quite deep. I can't even see them. And almost coughed it up on the first tackle. It was interesting. They played quite deep. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what the uh, intention was behind there. As, uh, we see Brody Chung. He's been very good out of dummy half. He's, he's picked his moments well and he's... Um, He's gained valuable meters, as yeah. we see. He's been a little live wire. As you see the number 10, Te Wao, Te Wao Rangiuri, or Rangiuri, Rangiuri. You see the, the move the ball on to, to Joe Jr. Paul. They're, they're moving the ball around, but it's just not quite... Um, it's quite, oh, quite lateral go. from this Bay of Plenty side. And that's good hands, though, there. And again, good hands. And stepping on the inside. Well, it's strong defense, though, from the South team. But he's gotten rid of it, and it's putting the South under-15s team in a very tough spot. Or was it the big blue wall of Bay of Plenty? Charges forward, led by CJ Putahi. And he's lost it. To Michael Tuta. With the loss, it's been quite an quite a era-heavy game. Which, um, you don't like to see at the under 15 grade uh, you think they've had a few years now at the um, well with a, they've had a few years of experience with reps so they got to understand like when to calm a game down and when to pick the speed up of a game but it just hasn't been quite shown by both teams throughout the game as uh, we see the number 21 there uh, Machu Phillips is that um, Phillips Tora there? Total. And they go close to scoring to Bay of Plenty through Pomale. He's a couple short of the line here. What can they produce to Bay of Plenty? They go short to that big front rower. That's Potai. Potai is looking short. He really wants to try. He's very strong, as young Potai. It's an early kick. It's not a it's bad one, nice. too. And it it's dead. just goes dead. It's not. It's not what they wanted. It's it's a bit of a me me only play. This Tuta looks to pick things up quickly. Oh, the refs had to 
Hurdle, hurdle one hurdle there. Hurdle one there. That's awesome. And a penalty for offside. Well, I think that might have been for pushing the defender away after uh, the attack away after the attack was complete. Yeah, possibly. I don't, know, I don't see anything on the cards. Is uh, number seven, uh, the Desha the Shantane Tawal looks to the fine touch, and he does so around about the 50 meter line, I believe. Yep, just on halfway there. Good touch finder it was. As we see South looking to produce some some magic here from the set, so they can take the leader in this game, but. Bay of Plenty really showing defensively that they're strong, they're tough, they can muscle it out. Yeah, they're really... Ooh. I think that could have been a knock-on on the play the ball there. Is, uh, number 15, the captain, Carlos Hutti ross with another solid carry. And there's, a, there's been a penalty. I think uh, Hutti ross incorrectly played the ball. Yes, he did. He didn't get to his feet when he played the ball. He just rolled it through and expected to get away with it and the boys at this age should really know that you got to get to your feet first yes you can win the right to play the ball quickly but you have to get to your feet first to play it or at least attempt to get to your feet yeah you ball. definitely have to it's um it's probably the right call in the end of the day as uh halfback uh richard Sewell just gets it out Chased there by the number two. I don't know what the rule is on uh, whether or not you don't kick it out and you're onside. Can you just kick it? To oh, I'm not too sure either. We'll have to go to the NRL. Now. We'll have to go to uh, the referee's boss, Roche, oh, not the referee's boss, sorry, the referee's development officer in Rochelle Tamarua, the NRLW ref. She's refed in, in the bunker, on the field, and on the line, so she'll know the call. Oh, she would definitely know the call. Fantastic referee, as Rochelle is. Um, as the Bay of Plenty swing it out wide, and they've got a bit of room here. There's but Trayvon Dave covering nicely. And that's the number 14 for the Bay of Plenty. See wide out to my and they drop it in oh! there. Oh, a and a half there from Fru and Oteneru. And Ote he, they put like that one. Both Dudley and Oteneru really enjoyed that as he floating ball over the top. Oh, he's got a bit of pace. There's this, uh, there's this number two. That's uh, Craig Tuhaka. Let's go again with the try score. He's just oh, chipped one up. It's not the best kick there. But he's two done a little pirouette running back. Better, better go back to go forward. I don't, yep. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And he's won a penalty again. It's... Yeah, it's penalties galore to start the second half. Yeah, the penalty count is quite high. I it believe is. it's 10 to, 10 to 7. seven. Both teams thought that's pretty high if you got 10 to one side and 7 to the other. Yeah. It's you still see the hit again. Watch this. Drops it. Dudley on and oh. Boom. boom. Wow. Get the hands here. Oh, I think... Uh, I think the Bay of Plenty side would want to respond to that. I feel a big hit coming from them. They want to get revenge for their fallen brother. Yes, who just they got do. Put in a coffin there. Poor Logan Dudley. has been wrapped up and taken to the coffin by the Undertaker. That's a beautiful offload to the Captain Hati Ross, who's got another offload away to Dave. Finds Mohi. Here's a big hitter and Fruin. And all flirting with the touchline. And... Cole Fanoga there. Mal Maloa Kofoga. He, he just had a look if he was out. He was just checking the touch line. He, he flirted with it. I think he might have stepped out there anyway. He goes and out he, just uh, here. Yeah. There was no way to stop it. Maybe a quick spin, but yeah, those are very tough to judge it in those situations. As we're really into the grind of the game here is Dante Hansen with a lovely carry. Breaks it up a little bit. It's a strong run there by Paul Miley. Paul Miley's been very strong all game. He's uh, carried well. So the number 15 again, I quite like Brody Chung. He's picked his moments once again, and he's got another 10 metres. Yeah, he's, and been a, play the ball. he's been electric from dummy half to start so far. Oh, oh. What a strong contact there. That was George Kite. Mikey Kill though, he's... Um, 
he's, he's worn that well. Here's the poor man that got put into a coffin before he's running at that same man again. Good luck. Good man, Logan Dudley. No fear. You love to see it. Oh, cut out ball and on the foot, and that's a. Oh, oh it's, a, it's try. a try. We'll find out in a minute. I think he. I think he's got it down. I think it, it's. Uh, I think he might have knocked it on just. Yeah, they're going back out to the 20 there. He just knocks it on when he goes for the grounding, but lovely work to drop it who, on the boot. Who came across? Was it Craig Tuhaka? Might have been Williams Jackson, I think. Oh, that's a try. That is a try. Clear as days. That's, um, yeah, that's, that's very poor. It's, it's it's a bit upsetting because that would have uh, that would have taken the score out to 16-10, kick to come, 18-10, Bay of Plenty in control, but we move on. Again, another penalty. This penalty count is very lopsided, 11 to 7 now. It's it's high for both teams, and it's yes, it's the right call and pushing back down on the play, on the man trying to play the ball, but it's a very scrappy game. Um, if, both. if you're going to have this many penalties, someone has to go to the bin. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. There was two in the last ball. game. Ball. Ball, no. It was, uh, uh, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a killer there, I think, for, um, for the Bay of Plenty. Like I said, the, the, that's the second try they've missed now that they they really should have scored. I mean, that one was up to a decision and the last, the, the first one was, uh, a drop ball. Let's just hope those uh, missed chances don't burn them. Uh, later in the game is all a bit of a Levo, Levo Moy with a bit of a push and shove. But it's, uh, Kito takes that run and he looks to go right to the south team with Hati Ross taking that one off the back. That's a good tackle there. That's a wow. Rangi Iwa. And Kite is still going. Kite has been very good as Trayvon Dave looks to tell us his, uh, number 13 to go right and Sol Masepo. And they look to spin it wide. It's a floating ball over the top and he's done well to clean it up. There's the number 18. Work out who that is. There might be Fralequino Logoya. And we'll have a look here on the replay here. We think Lagaya has scored the try. That is the number 18 there. And he touches down in the corner. Oh, he gets... I think thought it was a little bit slippery than it actually was. Kind of gets jarred there by the ball. Makes it 12 points to 14. 18 minutes to go in this uh, second half. Dan, what are your thoughts on the game so far? It's a tight second half so far to start. Bay are plenty unlucky to not have that try awarded at the other end. As we see South make the most of it there. And it's... It's, a, it's an even one so far. It was really still back and forth of who can grab a hold of this ball and, and and really come up clutch with the right plays at the right time. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I think Bay of Plenty were quite hard done by. Oh, it's a, it's a big kick to make it 16-12. But yeah, Bay of Plenty, once again, as, um, as we were saying before, you have to, when you're playing Auckland teams, you have to convert your chances, and um, it's just been a little bit unlucky for Bay of Plenty, but they're still not out of this. It's very tight. I feel like this is anyone's game still, but that is a that is a big conversion because um, a two-point game could have been a lot of better with uh, all the penalties blown in the game. You could have taken the two maybe, but now it's four. It's going to make it a lot tougher for the, the Bay of Plenty boys. Yes, it will, well, and it's a four-point gap. We're just over 17 and a half minutes remaining in the second half. We'll see... I do feel like Bay of Plenty are going to score a try. They've shown great skill on offense. Yeah, they really have. It's the question of what do you do here? Do you go long or do you go short? And they, they're going to hang it up in the air. I like this sort of play. And it's taken nicely there by Sol Misiepo. Sol Misiepo, the vice captain for the South Under 15s. And he's coughed the ball up there. That is an unforced error from South. Again, 
The completion rate isn't very good for both sides. No, it's not. It's a very scrappy game, but this is very ideal for the Bay Plenty. They they want it to be stop start so they can get as much break as possible there. And you need to go to the well against these Auckland teams and um I've got the perfect opportunity right now to to put on some points here. It's just really a little block play there and it's the centre and Tavita Pom Pomale. And it's picked up quick down this right hand side. They're going down the short side and it's Oh, lovely offload there to Williams Jackson from his Haas partner Richard Tefal. That's lovely service there back to the middle and Logan Dudley with another carry. He's been caught around the head a little bit, but um, it's deemed to be a OK. -okay. Carlos Hati Ross is giving him a little bit of love over the top there. Oh, the Mali floats numbers. it. And stepping in is the winger. He's oh, held up. Oh. He's just oh, stayed in. It's stayed close. in wonderfully there. Oh, that goosey. We'd love to see a bit of a goosey. He and shows. William, <coughs> Williams Jackson there almost going over. Oh, and he's gotten a face full of dirt. It's a big shot going from the half back, and it's, it's a relieving penalty getting one round the head there. It's a head high. 15 minutes to go. It's been a very stop start game, so. Well, Logan Tudley, not afraid of anyone or anything. He is an absolute tank. He wore one like an absolute champ before. He, By that man right he there. That man on screen. Fruin Oteneru. Oteneru. Oh, hold the ball, hold the ball, mate. And, oh, does well yeah, to hold on there. Done well. Dudley again steps in oh, an it's offload. Oh, it's a good offload. Williams Jackson. Oh, he's been taken around the head there by George Kitty. As a oh, show and go, go and oh, he wanted a man on his inside. They shot on the left. They shot on the left. It's gone from dummy half to the second row. He's. He's got his hands in it. Is he going to get over? He's just short there. I think he might have put it down. Yeah, yep, hand, hand over. over. Yeah. But, hey, it's exactly where you want them. If you're the Bay of Plenty, you just got to you just gotta be very disciplined here. You can't jump the gun. Let your markers go to work here. Oh, it's good it's contact. Good contact there from the number six, Carlos Herrera. Rai really leading his team on the front. Oh, it's it's good defense. Oh, was there a little bit of bobble in the play in the, in the play there? No. Play on to the referee. Stepping off the back foot again. Possible obstruction there. Running back towards his man. And no, Carlos Raya looking to strip that two on the ground there. Good thing he didn't. As Kite looks to take another damaging run. Kite up the middle. Oh, and he's taken down. Oh, there's no fullback at the back. Trayvon, if Trayvon Dave notices this, this could be, could be dangerous. Dave gets the ball away to Fruin Otineru, and he's oh, all he's shot tackle. around the legs by Williams Jackson. Williams Jackson with a huge play to keep his side in the game. And it's fifth and last. And Dave kicks kick. it flat, and that bounces a fortuitous one there. It's Paul Male picking that one up as we see the winger Tuaka taking that run. They really, um, they need something here. Is there? The crowd is quite vocal here in this uh, close game, and that, everyone's actually gone home. And the, the game of the, the day, possibly, is uh, we played out as a show and go. Run there, and he's away. Back. He's looking for Dudley, he's got. The wrong option chosen there. He had to go right there. He really had to go right to uh, Richard Tewal, but but it's still safe. They still got the ball and oh, this no, nah, it's got to be got to be offside. Carlos Herrera there, it's taking Williams that Jackson. Run Williams Jackson. They're on the back foot. Oh, and it's a 
That'll be the last tackle. They're out on their feet here are the Auckland South boys. Yeah, but a few, few hands on hips and boys on haunches there. They're really sucking in the big ones. That's really who wants it more at this stage. Yes, it is with 11 minutes 40 left, and that's a big, strong contact there on the fullback. He's driven back by Carla Seraya and Co. as Takiaho Brown. Oh, they need to get it. Oh, it's a big run from Hati Ross, the captain. And the dying stages of this game comes up with a huge play for the Auckland South team who are in deep trouble. Oh, they look down the short side. It's a good run there from the number nine, Tipini Kule. He hasn't done too much today, Kule, but he, that's a good run there, relieving pressure off his side and a penalty too. We'll work out what that calls for in a minute. I think for a slam, the referee's indicating a push back down. Let's have a look here. Oh, oh, yeah, that yeah, elbow. A little bit. It's a silly one to give away. It is a silly one. I think it was just a bit of a heat in the moment. Sort of penalty, and that's a that's another penalty to the to the stat count, I believe. I think it's... That is a... It's 12 to 8, I believe. 13 to 8. As the Auckland South team go on the attack... Well, it's a, a short ball to Hutty Ross. Ross. And that was a nice line he ran there off Dave's ball. And Trayvon Dave's looking to go right here. He says it's not on out my side. And that's George Kite lumbering towards the line. And I think he's just short. Got to get the numbers right always here. Always held up. up. Referee's called held up. That's a big, big call. Gives um, the Bay plenty of time to readjust their line and sort the numbers out because they need to bring some out to their left hand side right now. They're a bit short. They're very short, in fact. As well defended. Oh, good tackle there. As we see some of the boys getting a little lippy with each other. And the captain will be called over for a little korero. We could, could we see a, a possible replay of uh, that... Um, that uh, that incident of the of the dump truck, the um, the lifting of the the man. As you see there, a bit of a bit of a everyone getting a bit lippy, getting a bit heated. Rightly so. It's a very tight game. Oh, and, and a knock, knock on. on! Wow, it's a big knock on. <coughs> As you see the replay here of the knock on. He ran to reach out and score, went for the heroes playing and uh and dropped the ball. Oh it's it's very tight. What can the Bay of Plenty do? They need a try to level things up. But conceding one at that would be devastating. Yes it would and they made a half break on their previous set and let's see if they can make a half break on this set. As uh, South begin to tire, and so did Bay Plenty. Who wants it more out of the two teams? As they run oh, it down this right numbers. side here, and it's speed to burn as the number three. I think he's going to go away. And he's going to bring go. it around, and that... That is Joe Jr. Paul with that try, and it levels the scores. Oh, it's, that's amazing. With seven to go, the Bay of Plenty side stripped them for numbers. Great quick hands, and Joe Jr. Paul pins the ears back and says, see you later. Could he have gone in field? He points the finger up, I think. Go in, go in, yeah. As the lady behind the end goal was saying, go in, son. He could have gone in a few more meters and made that kick a little bit easier. Yeah, now now it could really, it could really be interesting there. You gotta give your goal kicker the best opportunity possible. 
Yeah, it looks like the kick has been brought in a little bit, which is interesting to see. I don't know if they've they've snuck a few meters there and the referee hasn't noticed, but yeah, I think I think they may have snuck a few meters in there. I'm not not a hundred percent sure. Maybe our eyes are just deceiving us a little bit. Maybe it, maybe it was a little bit closer than what we thought, but it really does seem a lot closer. As um, there's the number six here, Carlos Aria. To put Bay of Plenty up by two. Oh, and he's pulled it. I think he's taken that one a little bit too far back. He just needed to bring it a bit closer and just give it the chip, I reckon. Just yeah, safety just, over just everything. Just a little bit of a nudge. As we see, we'll see here. He's inside oh, the 20. Oh, 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 it's probably about fear. Maybe a little maybe. further in. It was close. It was. I think it was definitely a lot closer to the. Looked a little closer to yeah, the sticks like, than what uh, we yeah, thought. Yeah, I think. I think he's brought in a, a few meters, which is hey, fair enough. If he can get away with it, get away with it. Yep. No, oh, we got a ball on the field. Ball on the field. As time continues to tick. Bay of Plenty 16, Auckland South under 15, 16. Oh, it's a great kick. Oh, oh and good, a, hands. good hands. Oh, and he wears one almost around the chops there. And it's still live. And it's play on to this point. What's going on? I think it's called held there. Surrender tackle. It's, it's not him playing the ball. Oh, a mousetrap. Interesting spot to do a mousetrap. Uh, would not want to do one there. I uh, got some uh, got some claim to the old mousetrap play. Uh, oh, it's a penalty. Uh, I was just going back out. Mike McLennan, my grandfather, invented the mousetrap play. Did he? Yeah, oh. yeah. It's... Um, it's, it's definitely one that's not used enough because it is, it is quite effective when you're trying to get out of your own end. It's just a little bit of deception to give your dummy half runner that extra bit. Oh, that's that's around the head. That's um, He's been smacked. And uh, what's this one for? Oh, well, just, uh, just a careless shot there from um, George Kitty. And... Um, as the penalty count starts to rack up. I think it's uh, about 14-9 in the penalty count. As um, well, I think Kete could be seeing some time in the bin here. For a blindside shot, which, which would be fair enough. Uh, just a bit of a careless um, heat of the moment mistake, but it could really cost them. Yeah. Ten in the bin. And he will miss the remaining four minutes left in this game. And they're down George to twelve. Kite. Yeah, it's it's um very careless mistake and and uh, Carlos Araya nails that one down the field, puts that up to about the 30, 36. As we see the man George Kite being sent to the bin. And his time's back on here. He's in the naughty chair where two of the oh, South 14's boys were in the last game. CJ Tahi with a very hard run. They don't need a chance to hand too much. Don't play too sideways now. And that's our previous try scorer, Joe Junior Paul, who made that nice break down the right hand side as Bay of Plenty looked to go in here, and that's a good run again. The man who has not been shy of a carry, he's worn a few hits. Logan Dudley, he has been my man of the match. Yeah, same here. Well, when he got hit, he took it like a champ, and he continued to work very hard on attack and defense. Uh, he would be uh, my man of the match. Oh. Uh, play on, play on. Didn't interfere with anyone, he's down. Oh, no. They've spilt it. They have spilt it. I think they were going for the one-pointer, and it's... 
I, I, I'm not sure. Machu Phillips, uh, Tauro has, um, has spilt the ball and Hati Ross with a hard carry up the middle. We don't know how long's left. That's a, that's a thing. Oh, it's a big penalty. Mark is not being square. As here goes Tomo, Tomoko uh, Tuta. What do you do here? If you Trayvon Dave, do you look for the one? I think he, he'll go for the one. He's got the legs off the boot to get it to go over, and that's a good run from Hati Ross to, to set them up in some good field position. Now, I think Dave will be scheming. Do they go for the try, though? That's the question. Yeah. I think they might be thinking about it. I think if I was Dave, I would get it, have a shift out left real quickly, then take one back to the post, then take a shot. Here they go, I think. Oh, take the two. You've got to take the two. Yeah, and all the boys know it. They're saying take the two. And they will take the two. Oh, and that's the full-time hood up. So this will be to win the game. He's gone two from three today. Has Simako Tuta. So they can do anything to put them off as well. Pressure kick here. Throw a moon, maybe do anything, do something. It's a simple kick. All he has to do is tap it over, really. And he's nailed it. And Auckland South win. 18 points to 16 against the Bay of Plenty side in our last game of today. And it's been a pleasure having you listen in and join us here at Cornwall Park today. Hopefully see you soon for the National Club Challenge for Kiwi Tag. I've been Daniel McKenzie, Regan Shotout. We'll see you next time.